Rounding numbers gives us an estimate. It allows us to check our work to see if our answer is reasonable and solve problems with easier numbers. For example, if we add 34,642 plus 58,491, it would take a lot of effort to add each number. Instead, if we round to the nearest 10,000, we could add 30,000 plus 60,000 and quickly find an estimated answer to be 90,000. Today, I'll show you my favorite method for rounding. This method is called the target method. I like to draw my target just like a circle with a dot inside. Start by writing any number in our chart. You can see this is the same as a place value chart with ones, tens, hundreds. This pattern repeats in each period of numbers. This is 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. In my number 35,612, I'm going to round to the tens place. This is my target. When rounding to the tens place, my target will either stay as one or it will increase by one, going up to two. To know if it's going to stay as a one or increase to a two, I have to look back at the number that came before. A two is a pretty low number. It's not very close to the next 10. And so in this case, I will be rounding down. This means that everything behind my target becomes zero and everything in front of my target stays the same. 35,612 rounds to 35,610 when rounding to the tens place. Now I'll change my target. Instead of rounding to the tens place, now I'll round to the thousands place. This is my target. The five in the thousands place will either stay as a five or it will increase by one, making it a six. To figure that out, I have to look back at the number before, which is a six. A six causes my target to round up. So this will be my final answer. Everything behind my target becomes a zero and everything in front of my target stays the same. 35,612 rounded to the nearest thousand is 36,000. In the number 128,405, I'm going to round to the 10,000s place. My target will either remain a two or it will increase by one and change to a three. I look back at the number before, which is an eight. I'm going to be rounding up. All of the numbers behind my target become zero and the numbers in front stay the same. 128,405 rounds to 130,000. Notice all of the zeros in this rounded number that will make it easier to use for adding, subtracting, even multiplying. This is an estimate of my original number. Some of the trickiest numbers to round use the digit nine. Let's make our target the thousands place. This nine will either stay as a nine or increase to a 10. But I can't write two digits in one place value column. So instead, I have to carry my one into the next place. In this case, when I look back and see the five, I am rounding up. So the numbers behind my target change to zero. The numbers in front stay the same. I need to add one and four so that I have one digit in this 10 thousands column. One plus four equals five. 49,506 rounds to 50,000. If you stop and think about it, 49 is really close to 50. So all I'm doing is rounding from 49 up to 50.